Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss our handwritten notes on traffic engineering unit 1. We start with definition. As we all know, we understand what is important of traffic engineering for civil engineer. And we also discussed the definition in detail portion. So here, the definition is written by hand and the important thing in this notes having four words so these are the four words which you have to remember always the first one safe efficient convenient and environmentally sustainable so this the last term is very important for ethical point of view Okay, now where the subject is important, this means that the traffic engineering is used for developing countries. Why? Why we use for developing countries? Because in developing countries, the activity is more, activities are more as compared to developed countries, and it is seen that the traffic is increasing in developing countries when the traffic is increasing it has three meanings when the vehicle is more the traffic will increase if the vehicle is more then the accident cases will be increased if the vehicle is more and they are in stop condition so we are dealing with poor parking problems and when the vehicles are in operational or in movement then we are dealing with environmental pollution because vehicle transmit harmful gases into our atmosphere okay so this is the relation of developing countries to the activity activity to the traffic generation and traffic generation to to the importance importance of accident poor parking and environmental pollutions so this is the growth of subject in this area basically these are the three main area where traffic engineer is working we move to the second page of class notes when we move to the next page we will understand that how will we remove these three problems as a point of civil engineering so we are going to provide our attention towards these three points the first one operation characteristics of highway transportation in this mean we are more about to enhance our highway transportation system and the operation related to your highways the second one is study the need of better geometric design with the help of better geometric design we are able to reduce our accident cases and we also increase our efficiency of operation and the third point is we need to look out our capacity of roads intersections traffic regulations laws signs signals roadways and markings parking facilities design of bus stands truck terminal street line and many more these all are the traffic facilities so in the third point we have to look out our traffic facilities and we have to enhance those element into a efficient way there is another point which is human behavior in previous years in previous this human behavior is not considered as engineering point of view but nowadays the research is going on human behavior characteristics so that we will provide a better transportation facility for the countries 
now we will discuss the function of traffic engineer so this function of traffic engineers is listed in point wise and again this point is divided into sub points and the sub points will discuss later on when we go to the actual units related to these points but let's start with the first point and the first point is traffic engineer will be able to collect analysis and interpret data related to traffic engine so this is the meaning of the first point and why this data is important this data is important for surveys and studies like origin and destination survey volume counts speed travel time and delays measurements accident statistics parking characteristics pedestrian behavior and use of street capacity economic losses due to inferior traffic facilities this eight point is very important or, or you can say that is the most important point for growing countries because we need to enhance our economy with the help of good traffic facilities not inferior traffic facilities now we move to third page of this handwritten in the third point in the third page this portion is related to your first point which is collection and analysis of data done by the traffic engineer and how it is useful for scientific approach so please go through this points te means traffic engineer the second points the second work is traffic and transportation plan this is done by a traffic engineer a plan of traffic and transportation for safe orderly and fully integrated transportation system by a traffic engineer can be can be achieved by four main points the first one is related to understand the land use characteristics how the land behave with respect to your traffic generation this is the first point the second point is analysis of result results of study with given mathematical model and this mathematical model is used to predict how a system will behave this is very important so i think we need to so let assume this is a system and what is this system this is a plan plan which is given by given by traffic engineer and what this plan is showing this plan gives a systematic approach approach to transportation okay so this plan is based on some inputs and we are evaluate this plan for our output so this is the meaning of the second point in which what we are doing we are predicting our plan okay so this is the uh, explanation of second point in the third point what we are going we are finding some more plans some alternate solution and compare those plan in a good way like this is plan number 1 similarly we have plan 2 plan 3 so all these plans gives your systematic approach to transportation okay 
and now what we are doing we are evaluate these three plans and in the last points we evaluate this plans on the basis of merits and demerits and find our optimal solution of this situation okay so this is the second point or the second work of traffic engineer that it should be plan a good traffic and transportation system the third job of traffic engineer is traffic design so traffic design concerned with geometric design of highway streets intersection design scheme for grade separated inter changes design of off street and on street parking facilities and design of terminal facilities for bus and trucks so in designing phase traffic engineer will design these all traffic facilities for for achieving a good traffic system the fourth job of traffic engineer is measures for operation of traffic we will discuss this point in detail but before discussing this point we will go through the sub works inside this fourth point so traffic engineer has to take number of steps number of steps measures for efficient and safe operations what are these steps and measures these steps and measures are legislation and enforcement measures means for regulating driver vehicle and road users so this is the first step the second step is management measures in management measures one way traffic prohibited turning at junction tidal flow arrangement bus lanes maximum output of street these are the management work done by the traffic engineer the third step is measures for regulation of parking and vehicles duration of parking parking charges this all are work related to parking are come under point number 3 fourth step is traffic control device traffic control device and traffic control device install signal are comes and these are designed and evaluated as the flow will fluctuate so inside this fourth step sign signals marking channelization are to be evaluate now come to the fifth work of traffic engineer that is administration work traffic engineer is the one which is to organize and administrate the various programs intended to secure safe and efficient traffic in town and city so this is the administration work of traffic engineer in this administration work broadly there are three type of work which he have to perform the first one is education work in which traffic engineer will provide some awareness program or conduct an awareness program so that the road user will understand the importance of safe and efficient traffic for the country the second one is legislation in which he will provide good laws and and regulations and the third work is enforcement enforcement is the very important every law is the good one 
if the enforcement enforcement is done by proper manner so these are the three sub activity comes under the fifth work of traffic engineer which is administration now after the completion of job of a traffic engineer we will move to this next point which is road user behavior care of road users and vehicle characteristics are very useful to understand and studies for design of traffic facilities this is the important one human factor governing road user behavior so human factor governs road user behaviors on the basis of those set of parameter we are design our traffic facilities human body is a complex system to reach an external stimuli which is broadly classified into mainly two groups the first one is psychological psychological and another one is physiological so the terms related to your physical activity is known as physiological and the term or the activity which is related to your mind is known as psychological activity we will go with first physiological in which there are two activity the first one is vision of a person and hearing of a person how this vision and hearing will affect a good driver or a bad driver and inside the psychological activity there is a theory which is known as p theory and we will go through this p theory the first one is vision to evaluate shape size and color of object and to estimate distance of any body distance and speed of any body vision is a very important factor and this vision is vary with human to human body light emitted and focused on retina brain basically in this line we are going to discuss that how the image will form inside your brain inside your eyes and how the brain will cope up with those images so we are going to discuss these two visions in diagram form the first one is acuity vision as you seen that cone depression up to 10 degree to 12 degree is known as acuity vision and on the basis of this we will put our traffic signs and signals and after this vision there is another which is known as peripheral vision so with this peripheral visions uh, let's take the another color so this is our peripheral vision so this peripheral vision having an angle of 160 up to 160 degree in horizontal direction and in vertical direction what is it is 1 and 5 so if i draw this is what this is our x axis this is our vertical direction so i put z axis in this direction and horizontal direction in this direction which is y so 160 so we have 160 uh, like this okay so this angle is horizontal angle horizontal because this is along the y axis and what about 115 degree 115 degree is your 
vertical direction like this is so this is your vertical direction and vertical direction means from point a to point b the cone angle will be 115 what is the use of this peripheral vision if the intensity if a good amount of intense light will came into this peripheral region or any object any object having a intense good intensity of uh, light come in this peripheral region that, that will directly seen by a driver but the detailing of this object will be less as compared to your acuity vision okay so when this speed of driver is increased this peripheral vision will reduce will shrink so this is why we are study this peripheral vision at 30 kmph the peripheral vision is 110 degree but when a road user or a driver moving with 100 kmph that peripheral vision will decreases so, so color plays important role in traffic signs and traffic lights and color blindness is not serious concern if relative position of light and signs had been fixed okay so and the color of this signal but the position top position is always red and on the basis of the position he is able to manage this disability inside this color vision is glare adaptation normally the glare adaptation takes 3 to 6 second it is depend on age and it can be removed by glasses some glasses which is used in night driving and it is occur when the headlights came directly to your eyes or when you are moving inside a tunnel and suddenly you exit from the tunnel then this clear adaptation takes 3 to 6 second this condition is also for a blindness condition but this is very small so this that's why this is adaptable the another property of vision is the ability to judge the depth and distance of an object which is known as stereoscopic the stereoscopic of object and its speed is important to the road users where it is used it is used to predict where the gap inside the stream for pedestrian and the second property is hearing in this the sound of a horn or the sound of a nearing vehicle itself can alert a pedestrian to safety elderly persons with falling eyesight can perceive better through hearing this is very important okay as the age in, is increases the eyesight will decreases but the hearing property will increases so in this the hearing is important for the behavior of pedestrian also for uh, road users when the sound of nearing vehicle will arise p is the psychological property and inside this p stand for perception i for intellection e for emotion and v for volition these all four activities related to your brain and if i draw a diagram so this diagram will take like this so at this point perception activity will take place then inside your brain this is your brain and inside your brain there is two activity which is intellection and emotion and the last one is when your brain gives final message to your response or your body your hand so that final response so final response is known as volition
let's go with the t perception is the process of perceiving the sensational receive through eyes ears nerve system and brain and this perception is depend on psychological as well as physiological build up of a road users intellection is defined as the identification of stimuli and development of new thoughts and idea the important is whenever you your brain goes with new thoughts and idea the process is known as intellections emotions stand for personal trait of the individual to govern the decision making process after the perception and intellection of the stimuli so emotion is also differ from driver to driver so these two process are occur inside your brain v violation is the will to react to the situation the final response by a human body is violation so if your brain is going through p i e v process and it takes some time so this time is known as reaction time but if your brain is not working if your brain is not creating new thoughts in case of intellection so your work will proceed from perception to violation and the time to take this activity without using your brain is known as reflection okay so as you practice more the sportsmen reduce their reflexes and the perfection will gain but for a normal human being we are going to design our facility on the basis of reaction time so this is all about the reaction time and perception time so reaction time is used for the stop inside distance and according to asto 2.5 second is taken as reaction time and this reaction time is also adopted by indian road congress as the same value so this is all about our unit 1 uh, handwritten notes if you have any doubts and queries please let me know please go through these five pages if and just note down in your regular class notebook thank you for your precious time